Hey guys, it's the Down Under Gamer here, and welcome back for some more Civilization Beyond Earth. Still telling us about the trades. Probably going to be telling me that all the way to the end of the game. Uh, so, last time, uh, we killed off some Kraken. We uh, lost one of our units in the process there, but that's fine. So we got another Kraken over here. The uh, alien seems to be red now. So I think they're kind of pissed at us for killing all their fellow alien creatures. Uh, try and remember exactly what uh, what we're doing at the moment. So we took Shackleton like a uh, couple episodes back, I believe. Like uh, not last episode, but the one before that, I believe. Uh, so we're now okay. Let's see what's gonna happen. Our Raptor bugs getting attacked. Looks like our Raptor bugs are better than the alien ones. All right. Looks like we have some upgrading for some people. Okay, we can't really get any closer to the Kraken. Alright, let's go explore over this area, up north a little. My disciples are already sort of around. Doesn't really seem to be many things up this way. Alright, so our needle jet. Got some experience there. Let's see. It looks like he should be able to attack without dying. But I think I'll heal him up just in case. Alright, let's see how our raptor bugs go. Minor victory, decisive victory. Yep, yeah, sure. Let's do that. With any luck, they might get some experience. Alright. E cruises. We want them to all start heading uh, west. Oh wait, that guy had a... there we go. Okay, so I think that's all the promotions taken care of. Or the veterancies. So, let's see what we got. Anything? Uh, looks like it... Got any wonders? Nope. So the Xenodrome requires five. We have four. Observatory. Let's go with that. I don't think this siege worm's going to be able to do anything because we have the uh, fence, which I think covers two spaces, uh, two tiles. What we got here? Craft satellite. Uh, we got some production. What's going on over here? All right, they're taking, fighting some of the bugs. Wait. Oh, I see. So obviously my bugs attacked them, but didn't actually kill them. That's probably what happened. During Shanda, noun. Shame felt upon discovering one has mistaken an artificial intelligence for a close relation. Uh huh. Okay, so that gives us some more supremacy. We might actually be able to upgrade something, maybe. What else does it give us? Saber, which is like, uh... Uh, so Saber is, I think, a siege weapon? Yeah, so it's like a siege, and that's a building which gives us science. 
How beautiful it is to speak to the machine in its own language and have it speak back in ours. Yep, so we've leveled up our infinity. Uh, yep, so it looks like we have some upgrades we can do. Um, I think I'll do that before I move my units. Well, actually, I'll just, I'll just pretty much do everything on the right. Then I'll come back to that. So this is a wonder. Um, yeah, sure. Let's let's build some wonders. Okay, yep. So here we go. Upgrades. So the combat rover. Uh, oh, I see. The combat rover is how it started off as, which is the armor. It looks like we can now upgrade to the profit. So plus ten strength. We can also have. 30% when attacking wounded units, or we can have 20% when next to a friendly unit. So when next to a friendly unit, or when attacking a wounded one. Might go with that option. Because they're not always going to be next to other friendly units. Yeah, let's go with the 30% for wounded. What's this? The gunner. Alright. So we've got the gunner, now the overseer. So we got extra strength and range strength. So we got 20% when next to friendly units, 40% when attacking cities. Not sure if I will be using the gunner for like city attack. I'll probably be using more of the siege units for doing that kind of thing. 20% when next to friendly. Uh, I guess we'll go with the attacking cities maybe. I think we might actually go with the friendly, friendly unit one, because I'm probably not going to use it for attacking cities too much. And a carrier, which I don't know what it's showing the carrier for. I can't upgrade it. I don't actually have any carrier yet. I should probably think about at least like maybe building one some stage. Alright, time for some more research. What was the last... So we just finished... Uh, I think it was somewhere over here. Yeah, we did Synthetic Thought. So we got Alien Ecology, Miasmic Condenser, which uh, basically you can use to produce miasma in a certain area. Uh, so we got a... What else do we got? Transgenics gives us some health, so that's all health kind of related. I don't really want to use things that cost Xenomass because I still need some. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Vertical farming, so we get some purity affinity. We also get energy and food from farms. Okay. Interesting. I have I have enough harmony that I can actually get that. The Xeno Swarm. It uses Xenomass. Uh, I think we're going to go with the vertical farming. Uh, get that extra bit of food and energy. So food, I think, affects health, but it also affects... Um, like the population growth. Okay, so the Kraken is moving in towards my guy. So 
So I'll just move him. Let's see. I'll make him. I want to have him two spaces away. Okay, so there's another crack in there we've got to watch out for. Luckily, we're not within range, so I can leave him there and he'll be fine. Okay, that should be fine. I'll just move all my guys up. Unfortunately, it narrows a bit here, so I can't really get my guys, like, surrounding as much as I'd like to. Alright, I think I'll leave that guy there. Right, raptor bugs. Okay, so it looks like the other raptor bugs have healed. I'm not sure if my guy, if my raptor bugs can actually heal or not. Oh wait, no, that's right. They are, uh, they just heal over time, like naturally. Well, I don't think it'd be wise to attack that. So I'm gonna see if I can just move my guy away for the moment. I might also actually. Get this raptor bug to head up that way. Because he's not really doing anything else at the moment. Alright, so it looks like our one of our needle jets has healed up. So we should be able to now do a little bit of damage to them. Uh, to the siege worm. They don't seem to do a lot of damage though. Alright, so it looks like our other jet is also ready to go. Looks like the looks like um this jet is a little bit stronger because he didn't lose as much health that time. Your explorer has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin. So uh -huh. All right, let's have him head. Oh wow, okay, there's crack in there. Holy crap! Where'd you come from? There must be an alien nest somewhere over here. I'll have to check that out. see any alien nests it would have to be by the coast because that's the only way that's the only way that the kraken would spawn I don't see any maybe it was just hidden like, it probably came from somewhere else, I'm gonna assume. Yeah, there's an alien nest over here, so that it probably came from there. Uh, well, there's not much we can do about that. Let's uh, just keep moving on. Hopefully, the explorer shouldn't get attacked. It should be able to uh, it should be able to outrun the kraken. Uh, I don't think there's any sea dragon around there. So everything seems to be pretty peaceful at the moment. I have something that needs your attention. So it looks like this guy's already taken some damage. He's probably been too close to one of the cities. Or maybe one of the um, carriers or something might have done some damage. Okay, so we got a guy not doing anything. Let's see. There's not really much he can do. He can steal energy, that's about it. Uh, let's see, what have we got for production? Augmentary, what does that do? Gives us a bunch of everything, really. So, alright. Do we have a carrier? Yeah, we do. So I could try and make one of these. Then I could get my jets and put them onto that instead. That could be a, an option. So let's see, how much range does it... I really wish it told you the range. Like, I think there is a way you can tell. Uh, there goes the dogs. Um, 
So I think I'll build a carrier simply because I haven't built one yet. So let's build that. Got a veteran sea somewhere for the jet. Uh, I guess I'll have him heal. I assume he's already attacked, hasn't he? Apparently not. Alright, so we got another jet going. Okay, so we the worm should be dead pretty soon. Hmm, they didn't they didn't actually lose that much health then. Alright, so let's upgrade I mean, yeah, level them up. Uh yep. Okay, this might kill him. Let's see. Okay, so he must be very close to death. When I do kill him, uh, I'll probably need to get... Like, uh, usually a skeleton forms from when you kill them. So I'll get some explorers to uh, to do some expedition. I'll probably just build one. Uh, let's see if I can get some guys close to this guy. Let's see. if I could probably get maybe th at least these three guys to attack. I don't know if that'll be enough, though. He'll be very low. I don't think he'll actually die, but he'll be pretty close to dying. Okay, so... How many moves could this guy have? I think we should... I think we can actually kill him, so I'm going to... move in. We'll see if three is enough. Otherwise, I can always get this other guy. Yeah, okay, so we need... So I have this guy move in here. And then we should be able to finish it off. Alright, nicely done. So it looks like four is enough. So I could actually split these into, like, two groups. Have them, like, sort of like squadrons, I guess. So I have these four head on this way. In fact, I might actually have them head up where that where that Kraken was. We saw that Kraken over here. Well, we know there's a nest there, so we should probably head up that way. And I'll have these four take care of around here. Uh, Raptor Bug needs orders. Oh, apparently. Never mind. So what we got? Crash Satellite. Hopefully my explorer can... Yeah, so my explorer can go here and then probably go over here. Like, over to the satellite afterwards. So, I don't think there's really any enemies amongst here, so I'll probably have to go across the ocean soon. Looks like we have some aliens here. There's another nest spawn somewhere, perhaps? Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, god damn it. There's all these friggin' guys in my road. I can't really move anywhere. It's also glitching out where I can't see where I can move. Okay, so I can go here. Okay, let's do that. Colonist. That's right, I was going to get some Xenomass. I believe here was where I was trying to go. I guess we'll start heading out that way. Um, Raptor Bug is low on health, so he's gonna just hang back. Slowly. I think I'll just slowly retreat with him. Alright, so what's this over here? Failed to steal energy, but was undetected. 
Oh well, at least we weren't detected. Alright, so they're taking care of that there. Good work. Looks like they're gonna kill it off for me. Yep. Which means I could probably actually send my bug in there. Condemning. Good for you. You are not at war, they're just condemning you. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, you'll pay for this in time. Pan-Asian Cooperative has condemned you. Apparently they've also condemned someone else. For some reason you're condemning me. Whatever. So wait. They condemned... Franco... Who the hell is that? Is that, is that the green people? There's too many things, I gotta get rid of all these. Alright. Uh, so, let's see, we just built an auto plant. Uh, what do we want to build now? So we can't really build any wonders at the moment. What we got? We got an alloy foundry, which... Production from Titan, I mean titanium. Uh, engineer specialist slots. Uh -huh. uh, this gives us energy from algae. Let's go with alloy. Go with the alloy. Quest decision time. When the levees broke. Uh -huh. Our new water refinery is functioning well beyond our initial projections. Unfortunately, we did not prepare for such an abundance of purified water and find ourselves lacking storage capacity. If the excess water is not diverted immediately, we will be forced to dump it. If we direct the overflow into the city's cisterns, it would raise the overall water quality. On the other hand, our crops w could always use more water. So obviously, one of them will probably give us food. Yeah. And the other one will give us free maintenance for water refineries. Uh, well, free. The word free is always nice. Uh, food from water refineries, free maintenance. Let's go free. The overload has been successfully diverted into the city's water supply, although our water was not bad to begin with. Our people are sure to notice the difference rather than fix the overflow issue. We should continue the diversion permanently and add it to the plant's design should we choose to build another in one of our cities. Alright. Unit needs orders. Okay, so I will have these four. Uh, we know there was one somewhere over there, so I guess I'll have them head up this way first, because we know there's a nest up there. Yep, so they will head up there. Explorer onto the land. Okay, my explorer here is fully healed. That's actually useful because when we kill the siege worm, he can then go do that. So I think I might actually have my explorer start heading off that way. Uh, quickest way to do that would probably be just going this way. Raptor bug, we were heading in this direction. Whoa, okay, that's not friendly. Where's that nest? It was somewhere... there it is. Uh-oh. Oh my god, was that... There's a bloody siege worm there. Well, that's not gonna go well. Yeah, I should've just left. Left it up for these guys to deal with. 
Okay, so this guy should be able to finish him off. Yep, there we go. So we've killed 80 bugs, apparently, in total. Well, 80 aliens. The majority of them are bugs. Okay, I guess I might as well just have the rest of them heal up. And then we're gonna have this guy make his way over towards the Kraken. Make sure I don't end up in range of the Kraken just yet. So I can't go through this border, so I'm gonna have to get my units to go around. Let's just leave them there. I assume that my raptor bug will be destroyed, but we'll see. <clears throat> Maybe they'll be more focused on the Ark people instead. Whenever I can fight your kind. Good for you, mate. Good for you. If you want a war, I'll, I'll take you on. It does feel like that, doesn't it? War seems to be on its way, with two people not being very happy with me. The Ark people are still pretty happy with me, because they're basically pretty much exactly the same as I am. As far as, like, killing aliens and not liking those two groups. Uh, let's see, so the Kraken has sort of backed away a little. We probably... God damn it, it's doing that glitch again. I can't see how far I can go. Yeah, there we go, now I can see. Uh, let's see. Let's just try and go... Okay, yeah, there's two, so I definitely don't want to get too crazy. Actually, four might not be enough to kill a Kraken, because that Kraken that I killed before was already slightly injured, so... Yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think four might not be enough. Alright. In that case, I might as well just get all these guys and keep them together. don't think there's much my bugs can do. It's only a minor victory in both cases. You can't actually reach there this turn. Maybe they can get some help from my navy units. Ah, that's right, we got some defectors, so we got some units here. Um, I think I'll send the Prophet off this way. Overseer, I will also send him off this way, because I'm going to be sending my colonist over here, so I'm going to have some defense, going to have some military units there to show those purple guys we mean business. another overseer. Yeah, I think I'll just send them all that way for now. I'll just have my jet heal up for now. 
Okay, so that carrier that we're building is going to be over at Ion, so I think I'll relocate my jets to a closer location. I'll have my explorer making his way back to the um, to the skeleton from the siege worm we killed. Uh, let's see. Yep, so the coast looks fairly okay. My raptor bug is probably gonna die. So I'll have him run away. I'll leave these guys all here for now. Have my profit check over there. Okay. So, if my guys are coming by water, I'm not sure if this guy attacks them, if that will kill them. So I'll, I'll probably have to try and make sure I come around from the side or something. Production, what did we just build? An observatory. Right. We don't have any wonders to build. There's, let's see. Institute gives us scientists specialist slots. I don't think I've actually gotten any specialists though. I'm not sure how that works. Because this is slightly different from Civ 5. I'm not sure. Maybe you have to actually like do something in the city. Like purchase stuff maybe. Maybe focus none. Doesn't look like I can do anything about that. Uh, so if I say purchase, so I can like purchase things straight away with energy. Uh, I can also purchase bits of um, the tiles that are, are adjacent. Let me see if any of these have like Xenomass really close. Nah, that, that seems fine. Uh, Alright, let's see what's that. Covert operation was detected in Ion. Right, so some, some other civilizations, covert operations. Uh, it is the end of the episode, so I'll just wait for this to load. And then we'll end it. Good work. Keep up the keep up the effort, Ark. By attacking the bugs, it means my bug won't get attacked. All right. So when this turn ends, that'll be the end of the episode. What's this? Taking some time away from the chitin. Uh. I think. The Chitin. I think they were like a tribe of people or something, weren't they? At one stage? I believe? I think they were like... Sort of like Aztecs, but I don't think they were like... Anyway. How dare you, sir, ma'am, lady? We'll show you. <clears throat> anyway. That'll be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, let me know what you thought of the episode with a like or a comment. If you want to see future episodes, uh, check me out over at my channel or hit the subscribe. I also just noticed that the Kraken is moving towards us. Uh, yeah, so check out Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description below. But until next time, guys, I'm the Down on the Gamer, and I'll see you then.